Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So today I'm here with another Eid makeup tutorial and this is the third one in my Eid makeup series and I created this khaki green eye look. This video is a collaboration video with Mithila. She is a YouTuber and an amazing makeup artist. I will link her channel down in the description bar below. Please check her out and please support her channel as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Taking this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in the shade Black Brown, I'm just drawing the borders of my brows first, then I'll be filling them up using smaller strokes. I already shared with you my eyebrow routine a couple of months ago. I will link that video down in the description bar below, so please go ahead and check that out. And I'm just combing my brows with a spoolie so that there is no patchiness. Now I'm taking this LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in the shade Natural and I'm just cleaning up the borders of my brows so that my brows look well shaped and defined. I'm also applying the same concealer on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadows that is coming up next. And I'm just blending it out using a damp beauty sponge. This is from L'Oreal. I'm taking this Coty Air Spun Loose Powder and I'm just setting the concealer so that it does not crease. For my eyes, first I'm taking Cookie Dough from my Makeup Evolution Sofix Extra Spice Palette and I'm just applying it as my transition color. I'm taking Running Late from the same palette and I'm just applying it on top of the first shade because I felt like the first shade was a bit lighter. And I'm taking Milled Wine which is a dark wine color and I'm applying it on my crease just to have that nice warm reddish tone. And I'm just building up the pigmentation here. Now I'm taking Aurora which is a shimmery olive green or khaki green color. And I'm just applying it all over on my eyelids. I think this eye look is perfect for all our teenage girls, especially. Now from the same palette, I'm taking brownies which is a dark brown color and with this elf brush, I'm just applying it on my outer V in a V shape and then taking whatever is left on my brush, I'm going to apply it on my crease. Before continuing with my eye makeup, I'm going to finish my base and then I will return to my eye makeup again. For that, first I'm taking this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer. This is the matte one and I'm just priming my face. I already moisturized my face about half an hour ago. I'm going to color correct a bit. For that I'm using this LA Girl Orange Color Corrector and I'm just applying it on my hyper pigmented areas to cancel out all those darkness. I'm just blending it out using my finger. If I blend it out with my finger, it becomes a shade lighter, which is a perfect color correcting shade for my skin tone. For my foundation, I'm using this Fit Me foundation, and this is in the shade 310, and I'm just buffing it in using the same damp beauty sponge. For highlighting and concealing, I'm using the same illegal concealer in natural and I'm just applying it underneath my eyes on the down down the bridge of my nose on the center of my forehead cupid bow on the sides of my mouth chin and just under where I'm going to place my contour next and I'm just blending everything out using the same damn beauty sponge Taking the same loose powder, I'm setting my under eyes and my smile lines because I get creases on those areas pretty quickly and I like to set those areas with a loose powder. For my entire face, I'm taking this Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder in the shade 
translucent and I'm just setting my interface and neck and this brush is from Equate Beauty. Now I'm applying a lot of loose powder underneath my eyes. If I get any fallout due to the eyeshadows, it will help to catch that fallout and I can dust it up later without spoiling my base. I'm going to finish my eye makeup. For that first, I'm tight lining my eyes with this Jordana Isliner in Jet Black. Taking brownies, which is a dark brown color, I'm just smudging out my entire lower lash line. Taking Aurora, which is an olive green color, I'm just applying it on the borders of brownies. Now I'm creating a sharp wing here. For that, I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. I'm just curling my natural lashes with this Vega eyelash curler and ap applying a coat of mascara. This is my Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. I'm going to use falsies off camera. And for my falsies, I'm using this Adel Double Up Lashes in 207. Now I'm taking this Milani highlighter in Afterglow and I'm just highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners. I'm just dusting off the excess powder with this e.l.f. highlighting brush. And here is the final eye look. Now I'm going to finish my face. For that first I'm taking this Wet n Wild contour palette in Caramel Toffee. And with this angled brush from Puna Store, I'm just carving out my face like the hollows of my cheekbones, jawline, forehead, my nose. For my blush, I'm using this Fit Me blush in Rose or Rose Clear and I'm applying it using my Wet n Wild blush brush. And I'm just highlighting my face using the same Milani highlighter. I'm using this Flower Beauty Still the Deal Hydrating Makeup Setting Spray, I'm just setting my entire makeup. For my lips, I'm going with this Colourpop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bumble and this color is stunning. And here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and please do not forget to check out my other two with makeup tutorials. I'm going to link them at the end of this video so please go ahead and check that out. If you liked this video then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out. So see you soon in my next one. Till then bye and take care.